Yo, so what I want to talk about real fast um, is if you are a band out there today, there's so many rules and things to be aware of when you're figuring out the optimal time to post, the optimal times to create content for your fans. Um, and I kind of was inspired by this because I wanted to make a quick PSA like, to start off this video and basically say, posting around the holidays is never ever going to work out for you. I know a lot of people seem to think, oh, well, no other bands are doing stuff around the holidays because they're all with their families, so we can make take action. That's not how it works. People are just, there's just less clicks going around the holidays. There's a reason all the blogs shut down over the holidays. There's a reason major news sites quiet down. Just because people are focused on other things, they're not turning their attention towards their phone, or they're turning their attention towards their phone, but it's more on social media and well-wishing towards their friends and stuff like that. It's not as much a case of like, oh, I want to stay, you know, locked into all the latest news. Like, I think the reason, like, that threatened guy is doing something on the holidays is that there's actually clicks associated around him. There's actually a desire to see him. But I think most other people aren't really looking for new content around the holidays. They're trying, especially at the end of the year when people have year-end lists to dig through. You know, like, the last two weeks of the year is a terrible time to release music because everyone has less work, is chilled out, and they've got all these great year-end lists of great records that came out from throughout the year that they just want to spend time with, get invested in, and discover more of, right? So just accept that and also realize that a Christmas Day release has never worked for anyone. It's I, I know it's tempting. I know you'll be like, oh, it'll, it'll be weird and it'll be like our gift to the fans. No one cares. I'm just straight up. It's That's just how it is. You know, simultaneously, and we talked about this before, you know, avoiding holidays in general is key. And then broadly speaking, posting between 1 to 4 p.m., um, is key. Monday through Wednesday seems to be the biggest days for social media. You know, just keep those things in mind. You know, simultaneously try to look on various, um, I'm trying to think of the word here, various um, sites that take, you know, that will document all the upcoming release dates for bands in your genre. And if you've got a release date in mind, go look at that release date on a site that compiles these. And you can see, like, okay. Odds are, if there's a big release that week, like Metallica, maybe you don't release something, you know, because that all the attention is going to be over there. You know, you have to realize that the big blogs need clicks, and if they want to get clicks, they're not going to talk about some small band when they could be talking about Metallica or Slipknot or whoever, because those bands get clicks, and your band probably doesn't. So you need to be sympathetic to that. Sometimes you just get screwed. Sometimes a random story blows up that week, the threatened thing happens, or whatever, and it's like, okay, you're just you're just shit out of luck, you know, and that's fine. Or not fine, but you need to you need to live with that, right? But otherwise, do your best to avoid major dates that the news cycle is gonna be dominated by other things, and instead release with the focus in mind of how do we dominate that particular release day. What do we do is that we're one of the dominant narratives on social media in our genre space on that day. Once you go forward with that attitude, growth is a lot easier to obtain.